What is up, guys? It's your boy, Midwest 2 Review here back again. Well, we've been cranking on this uh, International Harvester Cup Cadet 129. I still got a lot of masking to do. Um, uh, I told the wife she's got to take me up to the hardware store so I can get some more paint and um, I get some screws and a few uh, bolts and um, nuts and then we will proceed with getting the remaining portion of the frame painted and the components like the brakes and all that stuff re reinstalled i do got to clean them off because i um, disassembled the brakes and then i realized they were really dirty and needed a thorough cleaning so i need to get that done uh let's see here what else so uh, i picked out a color for the frame it's not it looks brighter on camera than it does in person i'm looking at the screen and comparing it to actual and it's awfully bright on the screen i don't know if i toned that color down if it would change it but um this is the closest color that i can find to the cup cadet original color and i'm not going to be spending 20 30 bucks a can for this project this is not a full you know complete frame off restoration where you take every bolt and nut apart and you know and spend countless weeks and months trying to reassemble it i'm not doing all that i'm just basically taking what is already a good running tractor disassembling it cleaning off all the crud and oil and dirt and debris and uh, reassembling it and making it usable and uh, functional so um with that being said uh, I wanted to do this video not on the tractor per se, but rather um, I've been using some tools and I thought I would just do an update. So um, the tool in question here or brand in question here rather is the Capri tools sockets. Um, I've been using these relentlessly for the last few months since I got them. You guys can go back on some older videos to see when I actually when these actually came uh, but I've used them for everything right so even if I had a SAE fastener which something like this tractor here being that it's from I believe the 70s would basically be a, a SAE bolt I've been using the closest tolerance uh, metrics uh, socket that I can uh, I wanted to put these things through the rigors of what I would do because um, I felt like that was a, a good way to really give an opinion about how well they work. Um, what I like about them, they hold up really well on a ratchet, obviously, but they hold up really, really well on a uh, impact gun. And I know you're not supposed to put chrome on an impact. Uh, I'm not advocating for that type of use. I'm just saying the way that I use them, I observed the fact that they held up really well on an impact gun um, there you can see the anvil this is a well used socket as you can tell from the amount of dirt grime and grit and a worn down finish on the exterior of the socket the chrome uh, i use these things as if they i bought them from harbor freight uh, that's that's probably the best way to really talk about it i use these things as if i got them from harbor freight uh, i don't hold anything back I give it the full beans and I run them. And they held up really well. I don't have any flaking chrome. I didn't have any socket slip on a fastener, uh, a bolt or a nut. Uh, they, they're tolerance really well. So they, if you had your nominal and you had your upper and your lower, they're just a step above nominal, meaning that they're not so tightly tolerance that it's difficult to get them on to fasteners that may be at the upper size of the other upper spec of the tolerance range uh, and they're not so loose where they don't fit and that's a common problem uh, Justin Dell brought me to that realization a long time ago he says hey sometimes your cheaper sockets um, are better than your more expensive ones for that simple reason is that they're more they're because of how they size the sockets they are more able to account for very the larger variance with respect to the size of the fastener. 
those fasteners that they put on most things are coming out of China. They're just cheap materials, cheap metal. And, uh, that, you know, everybody always says, oh, man, it rounds the fastener. Well, you get it. It's not always the tool. Sometimes it's the cheap fastener that you, you're using, that you, you know, cheap bolts. If you're using grade A bolts, so that's something totally different. But if you're using regular Chinese, Chinese junk, yeah, they're, they're probably going to round off. But these can account for the Chinese junk that we see um, that causes a lot of problems. So these these are well tolerant. They're not too tight. They're not too loose. They're, they're just right. Um, and these are made offshore. These are made, I believe, in Taiwan, if I'm not mistaken. They, they But they do very good. And Taiwan tools typically fare a lot better than... Uh, look at that cut on my finger, guys. Just don't look at that. Uh, they fare a lot better in terms of quality in my opinion, than what you would find from your Chinese um, offshore manufacturers. I just the way that it is. Um, so I've been, like I said, I've been using these things. I have not gone to my a plethora of other high-end tools. I've stayed away from it, even in cases where I needed to use an impact gun. I did not use an impact gun, or use an impact socket, rather. I did not use an impact socket. I use the chrome capri tool sockets for everything that i possibly could and i will continue doing that this is a lot easy for me to do this grab this when i'm in the shop i'm working on the motorcycle i'm working on engines uh, i'm working on uh, equipment for the farm um, i've got parts all over here i got tractors over there i got half broke down tractors so it's i don't want to be walking all the way back you know 20 feet 30 feet to get a, a socket so i will grab that set i will throw it on my service cart here and i will go to town i also got the quarter inch drive set, set here as well i don't have as much time on them unfortunately uh, i've been needing three days more or less and so that's what i've been doing so uh if you guys are looking for a well priced um socket set and you're not wanting to spend a lot of money, but you want good quality, uh, I'm telling you Capri Tools is worth spending the money. And you don't have to go out and spend like 90 bucks on a set. You get yourself a regular set, try it out, because that's what you have to do, right? I'm, I'm, I'm a talking head, which means that I'm just telling you my opinion about what I've seen and every experience will vary from the next. So therefore, figure out what you want to buy. Don't invest crazy and, you know, use some common sense. Go out and buy yourself a, the quarter in, or the, the quarter or three or the half. Get the deep or the shallow. Get both. I don't care. And then test them out. I've used other brands such as um, Craftsman, US, uh, the Craftsman Offshore. I've used Gear Wrench. I've used Clutch. I've used Tecton. Uh, and I think that for the money and how well they hold up under extreme use, meaning on an impact gun, impact gun to me is going to be obviously the wrong way to use a chrome socket, but it is going to be the most extreme conditions, um, in terms of wear. Uh, and these hold up really, really good. They got a really good selection of steel, a really good process for how they harden the steel, uh, and they treat it. And, uh, these things hold up good. So I'd be very curious to see how well they hold up in a year. Um, sorry, I keep my, it's raining and my, my kids are running around outside and so I'm trying to keep an eye on them as well. But um, I'm gonna be very curious to see how they hold up after a year's long use. Um, like I told you guys, if you wanna check out another channel, uh, Bearded CB82. Um, a good guy, Brandon, and he, um, he did a lot. He was working with Capri very early on, and he's in a fleet service mechanic. So he sees a lot. He, he, well, he ran them exclusively for, I believe, a year or more. And so he was using these things day in and day out. And uh, he was the one that kind of introduced me to Capri just watching his videos. And so um, I've been very impressed with them. And, uh, and yeah, I, I couldn't. I, yeah, this is a good set. If I was a guy, if I was a guy looking to get a set of tools and say I'm not going to spend Snap-on or Mac tools or Cornwell money, uh, although Cornwell sockets are priced very well, I mean <laughs> that's that's interesting. Cornwell blue power that is. But if I was looking to um, say I, I don't want to spend a ton of money, I didn't realize that did that. Um, I would be looking at Capri. 
I, I, I stay away from gear wrench. Uh, gear wrench has had flaky chrome issues. They, they've had sizing issues. There's been times where I felt like they were nice hard, nice hard material. And then other times I felt like it was really soft. So for me, for me, Capri tools is too, you know, they're, they're, they're in and then they're out. And I've seen nothing but consistency from um, Capri. So I'm sticking with Capri. I, I, I stay away from, from gear wrench. Um, Tectin, I can't say as much about because I don't use any Tectin. I haven't used it in a long time. And when I did have a lot of Tectin sockets, I wasn't running through them like I do with the, with the, uh, the Capri. So yeah, that's where we're at. I know the shop's a mess. Sorry about that. Like I said, we're working on this project and uh, I'm trying to get things moved along here. I got to bug the wife again, get her taken to the store so that I can uh, go ahead and get what I need to get and uh, get this project moving along. I need more paint, I need more primer, I need some engine paint. Uh, yeah, so she's gotta, she's gotta unleash the pocketbook so I can go pick up some supplies. All right guys, that's gonna be it for today. Hope you liked the video. Make sure that you click the subscribe button. Make sure that you leave a comment. Let me know if you have any Capri sockets. Would you even consider buying Capri sockets? Yes or no? And if either direction, let me know why. Uh, do you want me to do anything else with the Capri sockets? Do I need to torture test them? Do you want me to like, you know, go to the salvage yard and remove like, I don't know, a ton of stuff off of a car and see what they end up looking like? I don't know. Whatever you think it's going to help you make a, a better or more informed decision as to how well these things hold up. Let me know. Um, I want to push their, their brand as best as I can because I think they really got something going on. And I, I even checked the prices again today just to get an idea of what they're asking for them. Um, just so I stay up on that because, you know, with the, with the, new, with the economy, raw material uh, prices have gone up and down. The, the cost of cobalt and other types of uh, uh, metals has driven um, the cost of tools up exponentially. Um, I've seen it with even Snap-on. I've seen their ratchets go up by 20, 30 bucks, depending on what you're buying. So I know that that is having an impact and uh, respect to the tools that we, we buy. So, yeah. But all right, guys, that's it. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.